Hello and welcome to Campus Khabar and I'm your host Zia Shakir. Today with me is joining a special guest in the studio, Mr. Jagdish Tanman, who is currently holding the portfolio of DGM Bharat, Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited, Vail Bobal. <laughs> Rubaru, ek khas mulaqat. So, so, thank you so much for your valuable participation in joining this special talk, Rubaru. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to interact with you all. Yeah. It was my pleasure and you had a very successful event as well. Mm -hmm. I'm privileged to be here today and be a part of your game. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for calling me. Yes, sir. So, since Pandan is everywhere, like we had a mega tech festival in the university, what would be your key takeaways that you want to share with our people? Oh, here? absolutely. There have been many key takeaways as well. And one, of, one among them is like, you know, I, I never thought like Mansoor being a small place would have such a huge campus and so mm -hmm. many students around with so many faculties. Mm -hmm. I'm really amazed to see. And I carry back this with me. And hopefully whenever I will need you, I will come back to your college as wow. well. So that's the key takeaway for me at this moment. Of Since time. you have a plethora of experience when you talk about engineering aspect, like you come from background, like you, I can see there's a lot of, lot number of portfolios under your belt. You worked in Tata Motors to uh, Tech Mahindra. Like how you see like these kind of jo job roles are going to help for the students out here? See, <coughs> one thing I always tell to others as well, you have to take life bit by bit, right? Because you do not know as to what will happen at a certain point of time. So take life as it comes, but have a goal in your mind. Have a goal. Right? So all these are stepping stones for me. So wow. what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gain experience from each and every place where I work and in various capacities and in various domains. Mm -hmm. So that gives me a holistic experience. And you know, basically my aim would be what I really want to achieve um, now is basically now I want to basically build entrepreneur mm. ecosystem. Entrepreneur ecosystem. Right. Yes. Today, I mean, I I have I myself I tried to do it, which I couldn't succeed. Mm. That's okay. I can admit it openly as well. But now, you know, what I wish to do is what I want is I want to basically give all the experience that I have that I have gathered to people who can actually build. Mm -hmm. You know build I mean large companies mm -hmm. big companies and do very pheno phenomenally you know within India as well mm -hmm. so I to basically mentor them and try to provide as much mentorship as possible mm -hmm. without basically you know what I would say without charging anything or mm -hmm. it's, it's basically a pure play mentorship mm -hmm. so that's what the objective I'm trying to go with that is where your college is one of the places where I'm trying to, to where I've come to connect with you guys. So if you have people who can basically need help from that perspective, I will be more than happy to help. And I think that's how, you know, the community will get, get built up. And that's how, you know, the everybody will progress. Even the person who's doing it will progress. I will progress and the country will progress. So insightful, sir. You talked about the entrepreneur ecosystem that you're going to you know, teach the students. Like we have a notion, common notion or stereotypical mindset that students after the university, if they leave the university, that job will be waiting for us. So despite knowing the fact that there are a lot of challenges that they're going to face, what would be a message for the students or the waivers? Do you think like we, they need to take up the internship process and they need to do well, be practical, be realistic? Yeah. See, what I believe is, um, you know, a lot of students would say that the three years or the four years of the college period are the periods where you should enjoy the most because anyway, kaam to karna hi hai. <laughs> so that attitude of kaam to karna hi hai letter basically pushes you three to four years down, Fact. down in your life. What I recommend to students always is that this is the time where you don't have any obligations, mm -hmm. where you have the full concentration. This is the time where you can learn so many things and identify where you actually want to go to. Mm -hmm. And after you finish up your college, that's the that's when the journey starts. Right. So finish up understanding, learning, you know, trying to get as much experience as possible while you are three years or four years in the college. And then the moment you leave, you decide that this is my goal. This is what my aim is. This is where I want to go to and then start walking towards it. So that's that's what everybody should do. And I'm saying, as I said, you know, don't think too far. 
take baby steps try to achieve small you know success is always important you know if you don't succeed you basically get disheartened mm-hmm. so have small successes which will combine together for a bigger success mm-hmm. so that's what it should be so we don't get worried you, yes sir before we say you goodbye or before we see you adieu uh, i would like to have a final message for my viewers please oh my final message would be don't be afraid of anything you are the pillars going to be the pillars of the society as well as as the country right mm-hmm. you have solutions we have aged up we do not have any more solutions we can only provide you the guiding light but the light i mean the work is something which you have to do it so don't be afraid open up meet many as many people as possible be frank be ready to fail as many number of times as you fail if you get up that's what is required it's not the number of times you fail it's the number of times you get up after the failure every failure will be an experience for you and i'm sure you're going to achieve it and thank you say, very much and they say failures are the pillars of success and mr don't want it was really pleasure speaking to you thank you, you very much you thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much thank you thank you so much for joining us thank you very much thank you it's my pleasure thank you there was this was an insight insightful conversation with mr tanwali who shared his visionary and valuable information to the students so for such programs please don't forget to like share and subscribe our official youtube channel campus cover